Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys a step-by-step -step how to do a Brazilian blowout. So here I am just showing you guys the Brazilian blowout line along with their brush and just a straightener from Paul Mitchell. And this is one of their combs that I like to use. And here I'm just going to do step one, which is the Professional Iconic Cleanser. It's a spray-on, so you just wash the hair. It's a clarifying shampoo. So basically, you just wet the hair, make sure it's like soaked through with the water, and then you're just going to go ahead and spray this in the hair. It basically takes out any residue, dirt, oil. Um, obviously, you can see in the shampoo bowl that her hair is like red or the dye is coming out because clarifying it just basically takes out anything on top of the hair um, I was a little bit afraid to put so much but she has a lot of hair my client and her hair is super long so I forgot to put a lot and basically just put it all over to the hair and make sure I'm taking out any dirt and oil just so that the product can run smoothly while I'm doing her blowout so here I am just giving you guys just a massage giving her a massage um you know through the scalp and the neck massage and yeah basically i'm just gonna let you guys watch And then here I'm showing you guys the main ingredient, which is the Psy Professional Smoothing Solution. This is the main thing that um, makes your Brazilian blowout super smooth. But before I put that on, I'm going to go ahead and put my co-worker in her chair and brush out the clarifying shampoo that we washed her out with. That's all we use in the shampoo bowl. So I'm just going to go ahead and detangle all her um, hair it wasn't too bad because her hair is pretty thick so it detangled perfectly fine so i'm just showing you guys bit by bit i'm just pretty much it's pretty self-explanatory but yeah make sure all the tangles are out before you apply the blowout solution and then in this clip, I just previously sectioned her hair ready to put on the solution. And here I'm just starting from the bottom, working my way up and just applying what was in my bowl. I know in the beginning I showed you guys the bowl and it was like super little bit product, but you're really not supposed to use so much. But because she had so much hair, I kind of had to put a lot. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. You go from the bottom, work your way up and drench that hair with that solution and kind of comb it out so put it on smooth it out comb it out pretty self-explanatory and yeah do from the back and then to the front also do not put this product on the scalp a lot of um, clients are really sensitive so it's mainly supposed to be closer to the scalp all the way down to the ends of your hair And then now I'm gonna do the Brazilian blowout using the Brazilian brush. So basically going back to the first section where I showed you guys and I am pretty much blow drying the product until it's dry. Obviously it's wet as you can see as I've already parted her hair for this process, but I pretty much have to blow dry it until it's dry. As you can see, there's also, um, I'm wearing 
of face mask because the fumes in this Brazilian blot is pretty intense. The smell is not too bad. It's not as bad as like a straight perm or like a curl perm or anything. So pretty much I have to wear a mask because it does get to like your your eyes and your eyes get watery. It's really really strong and you can't see in the clip but the fan is blowing just so it can like stay stay away from my face because I don't want to inhale too much of the product. So here I'm just showing you guys from the bottom. Again, working my way up also to the sides of the head. It's pretty self-explanatory, but of course, I'm going to show you guys anyway. And then here my co-worker needed a towel because when I'm reaching around her perimeter of her face, the fumes get really, really intense. It's obviously blowing so much smoke as I'm blow drying from her roots all the way down to the ends. And the salon gets really, really smoky. So always keep your salon door pretty open. Good thing we only have our co-workers in here. Um, but yeah, also if you have a smoke alarm, please open up your doors because it gets really, really smoky and the fumes really get sensitive around the face. Her eyes start to water and itch and also get red. So always give your client a towel, even if they don't really need it from the beginning, just still give it to them just in case for, you know, when you get to their front of their face or their hairline, it gets really, really tense. And the fumes, like you can feel it. The smell is not as bad but you can really, really feel it. That's why I'm still wearing my face mask. But yeah, so pretty much what I'm gonna do is blow dry all the way to the top of her head. And then now that you're done blow drying, now I'm gonna go ahead and section your hair in half and then part it going like a triangle going up. And now I'm basically going back in each section from the bottom up now and flat ironing her hair with the palm neuro neuro straightening iron. And make sure your heat is on 450 degrees. That is the highest heat on any flat iron. They say that it's bad to style, which is true because you're not supposed to at least do like up to 400 especially when you do have chemical hair or um like with color especially because it'll strip away the color but anyways i'm going back with the flat iron six times on each section yes six times what i like to do is grab the comb start from the root because that's where she's the, the most curliest and make sure that root part is so straight and then going back down from the mid shaft all the way down to the end six times from the back going all the way up
And then now I'm rinsing off all that solution that we put on. I know you're probably thinking, what? You blow dried it, you straighten it, and now you're rinsing it? Yes, we have to rinse off all that solution because pretty much what the flat iron did was seal that solution in the hair. Yeah, so you're using the, the brush to smooth it out and then you seal it with the flat iron and now you're just washing out everything else and now you're only washing it now with the Brazilian blowout conditioner. That is it. There it is. I'm showing you guys. And I pretty much put like two pumps because she has a lot of hair, you guys. And her hair is thick. So, yeah, just go ahead and wash out. Do some massage. Your basic rhythms. And I'm just basically showing you guys what I normally do. I love to like go through like the top of the head and then also work at the bottom and start massaging because that's like the best thing that clients love to do is get the head massage you know especially from washing out color or any chemical process they love the massage part especially women because it's like a day at the spa right so i'm just showing you guys my rhythm that i normally do while i'm washing hair and yes just only use the conditioner to wash out and that is it And then since I'm done washing your hair, I'm just going to get a towel and pretty much take out all that excess water or drippage that it's coming from the shampoo bowl, placing her back into her chair and saying hi guys. Now I'm using the Fab Me Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just spritzing this all over her hair from her roots all the way to the ends, just pretty much drenching that with that product and then I'm using the powder dry me blowout mist which basically cuts down the time for blowout and then here I'm just using a paddle brush to pretty much take out her tangles pretty self-explanatory right now so you guys can just watch me And then now I am just using the Paw Mitchell blow dryer and just pretty much taking out the excess water before I start to smooth out her hair and round brush it. She wanted me to do whatever I wanted to do, which I love to round brush. I'm pretty much practicing a lot now. I'm getting the hang out of it, you know, because I've been wanting to practice it. And so I've been loving to do round brush techniques. So basically, you guys are just gonna watch and sister got some layers 
and her hair is really really grown out it's really really long so I wanted to kind of show off those long layers that she still has and here I am just smoothing it out with a paddle brush especially when your hair is still wet you guys always use a paddle brush to smooth it out and then when it's like maybe 50 or 60 percent a little dry then start using your round brush to start getting that volume in on her ends And you guys, feel free to always fast forward this part. There's going to be a little bit longer more on me showing you guys how I smooth and round brush. But I just wanted to let you guys know, you guys can also fast forward because I know this is a long video. It's like 19, 20 minutes. But yeah, I've been always wanting to put out more content, new content on my YouTube videos. You guys know I love doing haul videos, shopping and, you know, deals and makeup looks and now finally i'm getting to do my first hair tutorial on a brazilian blowout which is so dope so excited so happy i did this and yeah i hope you guys like the final result so i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys here is the final look and yeah i love it don't you but i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys give it a thumbs up subscribe before you leave also click on that notification bell if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to like share comment down on any videos that you want me to do and i'll see you guys on my next okay bye